Next step is to remove the fan. Uh, I removed the wrong fan before. I removed a fan from here, and that was actually the wrong fan. I didn't realize it, because I didn't notice. There's the fan you're supposed to remove. So, this end television, I'll fix that in the edit. Alright, so, two screws. We'll make it much easier to get at that third screw on the lamp assembly. Second screw. Three screws. One behind. Voila. All right, now I can screw these guys back into their holes so I can keep track of them. All right, be right back. All right, so the next thing to do is disconnect the uh, temperature uh, wire. So it's, it's hooked up to the switch that if your TV gets too hot, it shuts itself down. And that's the blue and the black wire right here. So the fan was right here. The bulb slides in right here. So this thing right here is temperature control. You just pinch connector and slide it out. Okay, let's see what's next. All right, so now that that's disconnected, the next thing to do is to remove the color wheel cover, which is right here. It even says, I believe it's right there anyway, it says new color wheel to be matched the option CW2 for CCA. No idea what that is, but that's what it says. All right, so there's two screws. One. That one's a little tighter, not too bad. And two. track of those little guys. Lift the lid. Comes right off. Some dust in there. I don't know why I just showed you the dust, but whatever. Um, okay, so let me see what the next instruction is. All right, so now we're going to remove the lamp housing. And that is this right here this piece and there's three screws apparently holding that in so let's see what we can do now I, I'm using a handheld you know hand screwdriver for this because I don't want to uh, use a power screwdriver because I want the control. Some of you guys might feel better about using a drill screwdriver, but I think I'll just stick with the hand one. Okay, there's two of the screws. Third screw's back here in the corner. I'm going to pause you guys until I can get this out. All right, so I removed the fan. I removed the three screws. 
that hold the uh, color wheel housing, but I can't figure out how to get this housing off because it still feels very solid. So the next instruction is to remove the uh, the two cables running from the, the uh, color wheel and then remove the color wheel itself by let's see removing two screws it's going to be one screw two screws so I'm going to do that and I'm going to hope that it'll become evident how to get the color wheel housing off once that's done. Might not, but we'll find out. All right, so there's two cables running to the color wheel. One and right next to it, two. So we have to disconnect those. From everything I've heard, this is actually the hardest part because they're small cables. So a lot of people that uh, posted on the internet said they actually broke part of the cable when they did this, but um, it was, you know, part of the part they were replacing, not the TV. So we're going to do it as carefully as possible and see what we can figure out. The wires, oh, that wasn't bad. <laughs> wires are taped down. Uh, so I just removed a small piece of tape. It's back there. Sorry about the bad angle on this. I'm shooting this myself. So the first cable came out right here. Second cable. Well, it's right next to it. You could tell that I was shooting this myself already, so I don't know why I just said that. And that one is a little more difficult, I can tell already. Look at this. Uh-oh. That cable doesn't, that doesn't look right, does it? But I can't even see a connector in there. It just slides right in. That I think that's it. So we'll see.